Well, let's see how many views this video will get before YouTube stops counting them. All right, folks, welcome back. Working on this triple lot Martin today, 28 series. And I'm uh, going to do a couple things to it. One, I'm going to show you how I put the pick guard on. And I'm going to show you another little secret you should do to every acoustic guitar if you haven't done it yet. By the way, we're broadcasting under a, a new experiment here tonight. If it works, this video should be in 4K. And you should be able to count every whisker on my face. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. If the files are going to be huge. I'm sure they will be. So uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to make this video kind of short. Yeah, right. Because I know the files are going to be huge if it works. So let's try it. Come on over. Get you something to drink and something to suck on and whatever you like to chew. Prop your feet up and get comfy. And I'll show you how I, this is not how to, it's how I, Put a pick guard on a guitar. We're going. Now, you want this area where the pick guard is going to live to be very clean. I like to use naphtha. I don't have any naphtha right down here, so I'm using lighter fluid. Works just as well naphtha or lighter fluid. You can use uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I like it, but I prefer naphtha over that's my favorite thing. Get the area very clean. And that stuff evaporates quick, but I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down anyway with the dry part of the rag. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Like I say, it's kind of an experimental video. I'm using a different camera. If it comes out right, then everybody will be happy. Right there, line it up with the rosette. That's the one it lines up with. And it lines up with the inside of that one rosette. Okay, what I usually do Cut me a piece of tape. Hopefully that will hold here. You gotta get this thing exactly where you want it to fall. Lines up with the inside of the rosette ring. I don't like that. It doesn't look exactly even on one end. It looks perfectly even on the other end. What are you going to do? Let me get another piece of tape here. That thing's slick. It's hard to hold a pick guard in one place. And I'm just making a couple of hinges here with this. Very hard to hold in the exact place you want the pick guard to fall. I've seen people on YouTube do this. <laughs> and man, they would struggle and have a pick guard all over the place before they got it to lay down where they wanted it to. You know, once you peel that backing off, you're screwed, baby. You are screwed. Now, if I lift this up, I can get under it with something. I should have had a little exacto knife out here. I don't have. The idea is, perfect idea would be, we peel that off, Bring the pick guard over and just let it fall like that. And it should fall exactly where it needs to go. Ideally. That's what we'd like to see. Now if I can lift it one more time. I'll pull it up here and try to... Yeah, I need an X-Acto knife. To get that shit started. All the fun... When the camera starts to roll. Fun, fun, fun when that camera starts rolling. I was going to, wanted to make this a really short video until I see how big the files are going to be. I had a 4K camera. It got broken. 
and uh, but I remember how big the files were that that sucker made. All right, if everything goes right, that should be perfect, and it is. It's exactly where we wanted it to fall. It's just on the very inner ring of the rosette. Fell a little bit short there. Yeah, I can move it. Take the tape off now. I can still move it a little bit. And I should have been ready. Yeah, I'm going to take a hair blower and blow that hot. And I'll bring you back and show you what for. Hold on. Ouch! Now you want to heat that. Hopefully this still works. You don't. It don't have to be hot, hot. It's going to be pretty warm. Damage the finish, it gets too hot, and this sucker gets very hot fast. Start in the middle, the very center of the pick guard, and rub outward in every direction. Very center, center as you can, and rub that baby out. <laughs> rub one out. These uh, rosette rings are crooked, man. They're not even round. See, a lot of, either that or the pick guards not cut to fit them. But you can't tell it. If you have any bubbles under there, this helps work the bubbles out. That's good enough. Do the trick. That baby will be on there a long time. All right. Hopefully, I'm in the still in the camera. That's a cheap camera, and it uh, doesn't have a monitor on it, so I can't see the monitor. Try to set it up as good as I can. And uh, here's another tip for you to check these pins out. You see how that pin is angled a wee tiny bit. I hope you can see it. The, p the pin end of it here has got an angle. Okay, you can see the groove in the pin. That goes toward the string. When you have a string in there, you put that groove toward the front of the, the, the fretboard. But a lot of times, have you ever tuned your guitar up after changing strings, been tuning it up, and it, boing, you get it in tune one of the strings, boing, and it goes completely loose. What's happening there? Your ball, well, I hope I'm in the camera. Your string ball's getting caught on the end of that pin, okay? And it's hanging there. And then all of a sudden it lets go. The string ball flies up to this end and bangs against your bridge plate. Really taking a beating doing that. That's why I like plate mace. Anyways, I always take these. This is angled a little bit, but it's not, not nearly enough. Okay, I'm going to turn the uh, pin. So that groove, hopefully you can see the groove in it. I'm going to turn it so the groove is facing me. Well, right there the groove's facing straight down to the floor. And I'm going to cut this way. Across this way. I can't hold it up here and do it. You just have to take the very end of the pin off. I'll show you how fast this is. How quickly it happens. It's done. Do them all that way. Show you in real time how quickly it can happen. You can use uh, like wire cutters. Works well. These feel like I don't think them's, them's plastic pins. I'm pretty sure they are. I saw little pieces of them fly. I hope I'm explaining that right. You see the groove is facing you now. You see the angle that I'm cutting it with the longest part away from the groove. Yeah, those are plastic. Anyways, I wanted to mention that. And that's all I'm going to show on camera because I don't know how big these files are going to be. And I'll do one more.
Well, I hope I'm in the camera, baby. Looks like you're down there like that again, the way you used to get all the time. Anyways, like I say, you can use uh, like wire cutters like these and, uh, you know, snip the ends of the pins off. It's a little harder unless you have a really sharp there. And I do have here someplace. Uh, but that's all there is to the pins. Always use the same pins and the same holes. I can't stress that enough, man. You should always, always, always do that. And I'm sorry about the fans and the air, air conditions and all that running in the background. I don't even know what, what kind of audio this camera's going to do. It might suck too. But it should be a good picture if I'm in it. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of this 4K stuff. If I can get it to come out in 4K, it's going to be super high resolution if that works. And the files are going to be huge, but that's okay because I got an internet upgrade that will not quit, man. It is super friggin' fast. It was fast before. It's way faster now. Anyway, I'm digging it. Got a free upgrade, and uh, I think my download's like 150 megabits per second. Maybe that's the upload. I can't remember. I just, it was ungodly. It was way over times what I had before. So uh, I don't care how big the files are. If you dig it, I'll get a better camera, one that I can see the monitor on. And uh, we'll go to 4K videos if you like. You've got to have some computer pa power to play these videos, 4K videos. Uh, if you've got, uh, you know, an old-time computer with an old video card in it, not much memory, you probably aren't going to watch any 4K videos unless you're, you know, pretty well up to date. Anyways, it's an experiment. I hope it works out for you. I hope you like it. I hope it works out for me. And you can see this stuff. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Thanks for watching. See you soon.